An independent review into the cancellation of 999 calls made to Gardaí has found there were several incidents of substantial shortcomings in the handling of calls. The final report has also found cases where call takers did not display sufficient skills or take sufficient time to properly assess the vulnerability of callers. The Taoiseach has described the findings as very worrying. Between January 2019 and October 2020, more than 200,000 calls to 999 were improperly closed or cancelled. A review carried out by former Chief Inspector of Constabulary in Scotland, Derek Penman, was published today and examined at a meeting of the Policing Authority. The report found several incidents of substantial shortcomings in the handling of the calls. It said there is the potential that crimes were not reported or investigated and some offenders not brought to justice as a result. In one call sampled, a call taker did not ask for contact details from a person who was witnessing what they believed to be a serious sexual crime. The caller could not be recontacted afterwards as a result. There were missed opportunities to engage with callers, um, even if there wasn't a crime, but certainly um, we have identified as well cases of regard of poor behaviour by Garda personnel. There were also incidents of call takers not displaying sufficient skills or taking time to assess the vulnerability of callers. An example was illustrated involving a parent with children reporting a domestic violence sexual assault incident. The report said it was handled by a call taker in an abrupt and non-empathetic manner who did not seek any information to assess the vulnerability or safety of the caller or her children. It has identified the significance of the service that the Garda Sheikhana presents, provides to the public and the significance of ensuring that the quality of that service is as the public would want it to be. That's very worrying. Uh, I think the public must have complete confidence in, in that system, that when they ring a 999 call that they get an immediate and appropriate response. Among its recommendations, the report called for a new system of regular internal and external call listening and incident audits of 999 calls. For Galo Brian, RTE News. Well, our crime correspondent Paul Reynolds is standing by for us now. Paul, this report raises very serious concerns about how the 999 service operates. What, if any, changes have Gardaí made to that service? That's correct, Sharon. There's no doubt that any weakness in the 999 call system is a serious issue, not just for the reputation of Angarda Shio Kona, but more importantly uh, for the victims who are calling that, that, that number in distress and requiring immediate help. Now, the Garda Commissioner uh, told the authority today that a number of changes had been made as a result uh, of these reports. Uh, they say they've, they have set up four new control systems uh, with, the, with, the, with the most advanced technology to deal with 999 calls. They've installed a new computer computer-aided dispatch system, uh, which dispatches the Gardaí uh, to the particular scene. Uh, and there are built-in systems within that technology. For example, air code would be used to identify specific addresses to get to people who are in distress. Uh, they also say uh, that there is uh, training, a new training system for all Garda staff who are taking calls. For example, the report was very strong on, on the failure of some calls take, to call takers to show empathy and sympathy with the people they're dealing with. Uh, the Garda the Commissioner saying now this is a victim centred management system whereby when a call comes in, the caller is in encouraged to build a relationship with the caller to get as much information as possible from them. Uh, the Commissioner also pointed out today that the job of taking these calls can be very stressful because the call takers are getting first-hand reports of some of the most horrific uh, and uh, uh, dangerous crimes that can be committed and that, that can be stressful on them. So there are now more supervisors on the ground uh, to look out for these these kind of stresses to be able to intervene uh, and indeed the call takers themselves uh, as part of their training they get psychological training uh, to help them to deal with these calls and also to help them to deal with the victims. The chairman of the authority Bob Collins also said after today's meeting that he himself was somewhat reassured uh, by the Garda's own internal review of what has happened. He said it was solid, it was detailed and he said it didn't attempt to whitewash. Now there are still ongoing disciplinary proceedings against some members of Garda staff in relation to, the, to this whole issue, which has been going on for the last two years. There are still 70 files, 70 disciplinary files open in relation to these cases.